Hi, this is Joe. I'm here with my friend, Matt Curcio from New Jersey. How you doing, Matt? Matt is a superpower, awesome real estate in New Jersey, originally from Northern Jersey, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, I grew up where uh, nobody knows New Jersey actually has mountains. So, really? Do you still yeah, get excited up. when Bruce Springsteen comes on and uh, <laughs> Bon Jovi and the typical Jersey stereotypes? Yeah, Jersey rocks. <laughs> it's just uh, it was tough getting compared to the Jersey Shore when that was on its big run. So. Yeah, it's funny. People always watch. I have family in Jersey. I grew up close to Jersey. So it's funny when people talk about the Jersey Shore. They think it's some like stage thing. But if you're from there, you're like, nope, those people exist, right? Yep. <laughs> that, that Absolutely. Was, Jersey pride all the way. Yeah, so man. not only are you a proud Jersey guy, but you're also a super successful real estate agent, real estate person. You do a lot of deals. You help people who are new all the time. Mm -hmm. And I was hoping you could share from my students who just passed the exam because they very often don't know what to do. For obvious reason, it's scary. You start a new career. Who wouldn't be a little nervous? So what do you think? So yeah, um, you know, I, over the years, I've, I've been licensed since 2001. So I've been doing this a long time. Um, and I guess since about 2010, I, I built my team and, you know, the awards, uh, you know, lots of sales every year, but I have trained people that have joined our team or our company. Um, and, you know, in the end, I, I still teach, you know, everybody that just gets their license to do the same thing. I just had the conversation last week. Uh, with an agent that's going to be joining our team. Um, but but in general, it starts with your sphere, right? Everybody had everybody asked me, you know, what do I do? I just got my license. Well, you got one of these. And in here is people that know, like, and trust you. So in there, there's a certain way to go through your phone, fix it, make sure it's got an address book um, that you can export in case you want to buy sports magnets or you know, send an email to everybody. And, and most brokerages don't start with the simple task of getting your book of business organized, right? Sphere of influence, whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, everybody knows sphere of influence. You're talking about everybody you know. I think you just mentioned that. But just anybody who, who you think you would physically hand your business, your new business card that you're so excited because you just got your real estate license and you want to shout to everybody. So this is a way to do it. You in, you make your database and then you get them a copy of your business card, right? Okay. So, What's that? so um, with that, I mean, I can show you if you want, I'll jump in. Um, most people don't know what's the way to get to their contacts in their phone. Um, so if you're ready, I'll jump right in and show you what I have my team members do. Go for it. All right, cool. Let's share the screen here. It's funny, as you're doing that, people say the sphere of influence and they follow Instagram and they follow Facebook and with all this day of social media, they have a larger sphere of influence they even realize. They're kind of doing the strategy without even realizing they're doing the strategy. Right. All right, you see my screen here? I do. Consulting? All right, perfect. Sorry, Zoom moved me over. <laughs> so I, I never know which one. All right, so uh, let's see here. So. People only have two phones. One is an Android, one is an iPhone, right? Both have your contacts saved and syncing with their servers. Um, so on the Google side of things, and you know, basically what I do, this is my contacts. Unfortunately, I have over 3000 people in my phone. Um, but in general, let's pretend you had 100. You're gonna go over here, and you're gonna select your contacts, one, two, three. Number one, you see that my list is actually already organized, first name, last name, phone number, email, um, and then most of them have addresses. So as you're a brand new agent, I, I suggest um, anybody that's a homeowner, you look them up in the tax records, get their physical mailing address because you wanna mail them a business card. And then cross-reference with your social media profiles, <clears throat> find everybody and even send them an initial text, letting them know you're going to be sending them some free stuff, sports magnets. Right now it's baseball season. I'm near Philadelphia. Everybody wants a Philadelphia schedule, right? They want the Philly schedule um, and then come hockey and, you know, football. We want to send those out. Um, so you go through here, basically you edit the contacts, um, fix all the information and then move them into a group right so these are my favorite 
clients that I've closed with over the last 15, 20 years. So every time I want to mail something, I can just download this list out of Google and upload it to there's magnet companies or your personal website from your broker and more, right? Um, for the iPhone users. Uh, so I just had a buddy of mine give me access to his uh, iCloud. So it's iCloud.com. You log into your actual phone. You can do this stuff in your phone, but it's just not as effective, right? It takes a lot longer. Um, so from here, basically same thing. You'll create a new group. Call it Sphere. What happened? Maybe I got booted up. Of course. Well, you saw it. <laughs> you see it. So, you got the idea. Yeah. So basically, in, in iCloud, you're just going to drag your people over to that group. Um, and again, uh, you know, data is name, number, email, and more, right? And then the first thing that I have everybody do once they have the data is we call with this uh, script, which we can get a copy of this to, to anybody watching this, Joe. I'll get you a link. And you okay, can, and I'll put it in the show it. notes. Yep. Um, so in here, you know, just understand with scripting, a lot of realtors are scared of, of being scripted. Um, you can watch plenty of videos on, on ways to be scripted, but in general, I tell everybody, uh, a script is a set of railroad tracks when you call your friends, family, and, and sphere, they're going to take you off the tracks into different conversations. You just get back on the tracks with the with the script. That's all it does, right? So you have a certain few. You have a few things you want to, you know, ask them. This script, I felt, works the best. We can all call somebody and say, "Hey, you know, I'm a realtor now. Anybody you know, you're going to send them my way," and they say yes. That's one way to do it, but that's not the best way. The best way is to actually you know, ask these scripted questions so that they turn around and give you the answers uh, mm -hmm. that you want to know. And, and you want you want them to think about who they know who's looking to buy or sell now or in the near future, right? Not just they, they're going to yes you to death. Okay, cool. You're a realtor now. Yeah, I'll let you know when I have somebody. And that's it. So, uh, so, yeah. so that's the best way that, you know, that's the number one thing that everybody that joins our team brokerage. That's what they do first. Uh, when it comes to how to get their first lead, because the people closest to you are the ones that uh, that are that you're gonna get, right? Yep. So I'm gonna unshare this so we can talk a little bit more. Okay. All right. Perfect. So what other kind of questions do you get from your your realtors that are that are brand new? So basically you're increasing your sphere of influence by going through your database of people and then you're contacting those people with a pre-written script to make sure you sound efficient with your time and organize how you go about doing it, right? Yeah, yep, absolutely. So you a big social media guy? Yep. So yep. Which, which social media platform do you prefer? Um, so obviously, you know, my age puts me in the Facebook group. <laughs> more than the Instagram group, but uh, what I see more, old. is that what you're saying? I'm in, I'm for, yeah, I'm 42 now. So um, <laughs> I kind of evolved with Facebook, but I see a lot more realtors generating a lot more with Instagram than Facebook now. Um, and I, you know, at the end of the day, you need it all, right? So those accounts need to be opened. You need to follow all your friends uh, and connect with them socially. And that script as well, doesn't have to just be a conversation. Um, I've had people in their 20s work for me, even last year, and it was pretty hard watching watching them make a call because they're like, we don't call each other. We just text. I was like, okay, well, then text them something similar. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a struggle in this day and age when you kind of adapt to the times. So it's true. A lot of people don't call people. It's all via their Instagram or TikTok or whatever it is. I'm a similar age to you. Actually, I'm a little older than you. Um, don't tell anybody, but it's true. <laughs> And I know that I've had to evolve to kind of those techniques of Instagram and kind of move with the times. But as you said, it's not comfortable. It's a different, yeah. uh, it's a different demographic for sure. And for them, it I don't is. know how they do it. Yeah, I mean, look, I, what I tell people, we have a, a, a standard message that goes out, 
once you've been a realtor a little while, just saying thing, you know, a pre-written text that says, hey, thanks for your support. You know, I've seen your comments or your likes on my, you know, Facebook page or my Instagram stuff. Um, I really appreciate it. If you happen to know anybody looking to buy or sell now or in the near future, always keep me in mind. Thanks again for your support. And that's it. That's great because it helps people utilize what they're comfortable with. I mean, I guess if you can't change it, don't, you know, don't fight it. Yeah. Uh, if, if a kid is in his 20s and he's super good with Instagram, he's got a great sphere of influence, you're creating something that adapts to their skill set. So it's a good thing. Yeah. Yeah. And show yourself working. <clears throat> you know, as a brand new agent, um, you know, some other things that we that we teach are, you know, you should be previewing houses, right? I know we're in coronavirus and, and there's issues with, with access to homes and stuff like that, but there will be vacant homes in your market. That will teach you the market, right? So go tour some properties that are vacant in your market, you know, be on your Instagram stories, on your Facebook stories and show yourself, hey, I'm out showing this property today or I'm previewing it for a client. And, you know, the more that you show the world that you're out working every day, uh, the more people are going to see it, like it, comment, follow, and then, you know, you'll build your following and you'll build your database. Yeah, I like that because the people are nervous. They say, well, I haven't sold a lot of property yet. So what do I show? It's like, well, one, they don't know how much you sold, you know, and two, they're showing, you said they're working, they're showing images, they're showing that you're knowledgeable about the field and kind of that builds a lot of confidence for a new client unto itself. Absolutely. And that, that is enormous. And I've seen realtors that I know, I can look up their sales that don't sell a lot, but they appear to sell a house almost every other day, you know, and I know that that's helping them because they're constantly showing that they're at work. Um, and, and that, you know, so to become an expert in any field, I always go by the rule of 10,000 hours. You gotta put your 10,000 hours in and that becomes learning the business and that's listing homes, selling homes, you know, it, the inspections that are gonna come with that and, and all that stuff. So um, find the different things that, that you adapt to, open houses, all that stuff whatever you like most. Some people like knocking on doors, other realtors hate it. Um, so whatever works best for you and your personality, take that and run with it. And social media has cut the learning curve, not cut the learning curve, but it's, it's exposed people to a demographic of buyers and sellers that, you know, I didn't have the opportunity to do that in, back in 2002, you know, 2003, because it just didn't exist. So. Yeah, no, I hear you. It's, it's a good thing for sure. So yeah. that's a good one. Is there anything else you want to add? I mean, that would be the starting point, you know, for, for any realtors that, you know, that's enough work. Usually it takes people, I, I usually say about, it's going to be anywhere from a week to a month to fix your database in your phone. And if you got, you know, a thousand followers or, you know, whatever friends on Facebook, that's, all, they are all your friends. And just because you're licensed in New Jersey, doesn't mean that's your limited, you know, availability to help somebody. Uh, every realtor is licensed in one state, uh, some many more, but in general, you can help someone buy or sell real estate anywhere in the world, anytime. So get that referral network going. And if somebody calls you, a friend from Florida says, do you happen to know a realtor, you know, in my market? Yes, you do. You know, your company will have a database. Uh, Realtor.com has a database, you know, interview realtors for them and take a referral fee. So sounds good. Yeah. And that's good because you hear all this grand advice people do. You're basically saying before you do anything, do step one and don't worry about anything else until you do that. Yep. Yeah. A lot of realtors, you know, we have all the trainings built for like contracts and offers. And I tell everybody, do not do that training because when you actually get an offer, you're going to call me again and say, Hey, had it, I remember I watched a video or you told me about it, but I don't remember. Yeah, that's true. You're not going to need to know that yet. Right. Um, so in the beginning, get the basics down, build that book of business, your sphere, your database, whatever you want to call it. Um, I was always taught 200 names, get to 200 names. Um, there's a good website meetup. Um, so meetup.com, if you're in an area, obviously we're in COVID, but there's book clubs, you know, and different clubs that meet. Um, so you can sign up to that. And now they're in zoom rooms and all that stuff for these different groups that you can join and you're going to be a business and somebody else might be a business um, that you guys can support each other locally. I mean, has so, been around forever. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, and I didn't even consider using that for real estate, but it was great. Somebody told me that their team is required uh, five touches a week, 
you know, and three are for brand new people, two are your sphere. And I thought that was a great, you know, concept. And he says, now they all got to sign up to book clubs and everything else and just promote themselves as the real estate expert. Yeah. I like those networking groups meet up. Yeah. Is Latip still around? Um, so I don't know what they're doing. Latip and I think BNI. I we ourselves with that one though. I think yeah. people are like, what are they talking about? You know? Yeah. But there was yeah, a time are... for people who don't know, Latip yep. was the coolest thing around. Um, I think you'll agree when Matt and I was in our 20s, I would say. Yeah. Latip came on the scene and what it was, was people woke up super early in the morning and exchanged leads and it was kind of cultish for a little while. Yeah. Um, I know BNI existed last year, but again, with coronavirus, I don't know what they're doing with their meetings. Okay. Yeah. Did I date myself with that one? You're, yeah. You dated both of us <laughs> because we both know what it is. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've been around for a while and you're super knowledgeable and super successful. So, yeah. you know, you got it covered. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And, and if anybody wants to learn more about me, CursioConsulting.com, uh, check it out. There's actually, I think I still have posted on there. I got... Uh, I was in, involved in an eight hour day of training um, with 16 different professionals across the country. Check it out. Um, free training resource. So you can get access on that on that website as well. And I'll put the link in the show notes below so everybody can see it. Yeah. And I'll drop that um, that PDF as well for you. Thanks so much. No problem, man. I'll talk okay. to you again. How do you do? Mm.